All right, guys, so hello, welcome to the video. We're going to be trying the AMX ALC BIS again, 90 millimeter. And one thing I changed uh, based on Religion of Rage's um, recommendation is this setting. Where the heck is it? Am I on the right thing? Um, yeah, general. Enable automatic hole lock and sniper mode. So I've always had this enabled because I actually knew about this setting. I think I changed it years ago when World of Tanks wasn't anything close to what it is now, but this is enabled by default. And what this does, right, is when you are turning a, a tank that doesn't have a turret, what this does is it locks the gun, I'm sorry, the hole from turning so that you can only turn like this with, you know, um, with using the mouse. If you're going to use like the A and D keys, then obviously you can turn the hole, but it's, it's called hole lock. What this does when you disable it is now, whenever you see someone that is out of that traverse limit that you have, it'll just turn the hole automatically for you so you don't have to use the A and D keys. And it's way, way better because this way it keeps the bloom down because you only turn like just enough. It's it's also the same thing when you, that, that Artie has because when you play Artie, you actually want to turn slightly ahead of where you're going to shoot so that you have the bloom that just comes down. And then when you're as you're moving the um, gun right you don't get that spike again when you have to move the hole so that's kind of the reason i think this exists however it's way better to turn it off because this way you can you can make adjustments on the fly when you're aiming and it's it i i played three games right i reset it so that we can um you know see how my games are but i averaged like over a thousand damage and even the first two games i played awful but it's way better. I, I won't lie. He's he's 100% right. And I didn't even really think about this setting. It's not something I ever thought about. Um, even though I did kind of know about it, I guess. But like, I, I just like when you play turret tanks, you don't really think about this, right? Like, it's just something that I've never really, I just threw the 90 millimeter on and went to the game. But this does make a huge difference with this tank, man, because so many times you're trying to turn to shoot someone and like when you have the hole lock on you got to turn like you got to turn the tank like this and then turn it back so this way that it doesn't happen but with this you don't have to do that really like you still probably should so that you don't get the bloom spike right that's what i call i call it a bloom spike but it's just easier i don't i don't know how to explain it other than to show you so i'm going to show you why um, cause it just, it's so much smoother and less janky and just feels natural. So I am running this thing with brothers in arms, um, concealment, snapshot, smooth ride, situational awareness, recon at 57%. And then we have off-road driving here as well. And this tank, man, it's cool. It's a very unique tank. You really want to play it. Like it's like a TD light tank hybrid in case this is your first video of mine that you're watching. Um, the AMX ELC BIS is a very, um, different kind of light tank when playing with the 90 millimeter it's a td light tank hybrid you cannot go outside venture out of that um role or you're going to get in trouble right with light tanks with a turret they're a little more versatile and you can kind of like see which light tanks can kind of brawl like maybe they have a little bit of armor they can ridge poke some are you know just better at passive scouting and can get closer to the enemy you guys know this like if you know world of tanks you know that you're going to play let's just say at tier eight you're going to play the hawk 30 and the m41 different than you would play the even 90 right and even the batch at as well and probably the T92 and the LHM. Like, oh, these are more passive scouts, right? Your LHM, your Batch Hat. Your Batch Hat's more unique because it has a four round clip. Your LT432 is going to be a little bit more of a brawler. Your Hawk 30 and your M41, especially, these are massive brawling tanks um, that you can do massive amounts of damage with with HE shells. So, just to give you guys a general example, like, not every light tank is the same, but this one is extremely unique in the fact that it's literally the only light tank that's kind of a TD light tank hybrid, in my opinion. I mean, maybe you guys can think of some others, but for me, like this, it, it's the only one that I know of. So it makes it very unique. The gun is kind of trollish, yes, but you have to connect your shots. If you're connecting your shots and doing 240 alpha at tier five, it's going to pay off. Now, one more time, I want to like reiterate this. I do think that the 90 millimeter ultimately is the better gun because I know this is very controversial. 
I have stated in the past that I'd like the 75 millimeter, millimeter more. I still like the 75 millimeter more because I am used to playing tanks that have turrets, like your standard tank like this, right? Um, there's actually a lot of unique tanks at tier five, right? You have the Covenanter, you have the Leopard. These are weird tanks, but I'm used to tanks that have turrets and therefore I am going to be better with the 75 millimeter naturally um, because it's just what I'm used to, right? But if I stick the 90 millimeter on here and I play hundreds of battles with the 90 millimeter, well, then I think that I'm going to be better with the 90 millimeter than I would be with the 75, if that makes sense. Um, it's just awkward, man. You have to get used to this kind of play style. It's very weird. And I think if you took a person that was just as good in the 75 millimeter as they are in the 90, the 90 would probably win just because it has more alpha, right? And if you know how to play it, you're going to be better off, right? Um, but there's a lot of situations where I would rather have the 75 and a lot of people say the same thing. And it just comes down to a play style thing. It's not that I'm saying that the 90 millimeter is worse. It's just for me personally, I don't play this tank, you know? So it's just, it's, it's just, a, it's just one of those things, man. It's like, you're, it's like if you told someone that, um, say, someone drives like sport bikes, and then you go tell them to get on a cruiser bike. It's, a, it's, they kind of know how to do it, but it's, it's a completely different style. <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying? So, it's like going from a tiny little eco car to like a giant suburban or something. It's just they're, they're, you can do it right, but they're very, very different in what they're, you know, made to do. So. That's ultimately what I wanted to say to you guys. And again, I know this is like, it's kind of controversial, man. People are like, oh, the 90 is better. The 75 millimeter is better. It's like, dude, the better gun is going to be the one that you're better with, right? And if you play this tank enough with the 90, it's, it is the better gun, right? It's going to be the better gun. Even though it has been nerfed, it's going to be the better gun. But if you're dog shit at playing with the 90 millimeter, like I am, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it, but the 75 millimeter is going to be better for you. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that this is not like, this doesn't continue to be a controversial thing, but um, this is the way this tank is, right? And so, like, you have to play to this play style with the 90 millimeter, this TD LT hybrid, or you're going to get wrecked. So that's that, guys. And again, um, this thing has no gun depression. The aiming time is pretty long. The dispersion isn't great and all that, but that's how this thing just kind of operates, right, with this gun. So we're going to try it out with this setting turned... Um, with this setting turned off, I, again, already played three battles with it off, and it is, it's drastically better. It really is. When you're aiming, you notice it, because you, with the mouse, you only have to move just a little bit if you need to get that shot in, like, quick. Like, if someone's going behind cover, it's, oh, man, dude, it's so much better. Otherwise, you're sitting there, and, like, it's like you're like this, guys, right? You're sitting there, and there's a guy in cover. You have to turn the tank like this. You turn it like this, and then aim, and shoot. And it's just, it's like the most annoying effing thing ever, man. Um, but with this one, right, you can just turn just like, you're like, oh, I got to turn the hole just a little bit. And it's like this, and then you can shoot, right? And your bloom doesn't go like this. So that's where, that's what makes this thing really, really effective. So we're going to try and go down. I don't really like playing down here, but we're going to have to do it with the AMX ELC BIS. I think, uh, we have a Covenanter. Probably, what the heck was that? Probably let him go to, uh like over west or something like that. And I'm going to try and go in here somewhere. Let's see. I don't really play these areas very often, but I think we can make it work right in here. Let's see. Okay, T21 is kind of going out here, actually. All right. I, feel... <laughs> I hate playing out there, man. I'm just going to go up here with the SU-85 and the Super Chaffee. Okay. I didn't even look at this. So we have, what, like four light tanks in this game? Two fives and two sixes. I'm going to sit here, wait for a shot on people that are going north. Like northwest. You can sit, like, right here. And see how you can, like, move? So now I can move the hole. And we just want to pre-aim. That's what you have to do in this tank. You have to pre-aim. It's much better. I can shoot this M4A1, but I really want to be here for one of these guys. Because we'll spot them as well. And then I'll aim towards the middle. If I had a turret, I'd be trying to shoot people over here right now, but. Just don't move, man. Like, I don't care if you nudge me, just don't move and hit me. Okay, good. 
Yeah, like that. Okay. It's good because we can take away like a lot of the BDR's health, man. Good. Take away some of the tiger's health. And now we want to actually get out of here. I'm going to run away now because what happens is these guys will come to this corner and you'll get lit. I kind of want to shot at this Nash. Where was he sitting? Yeah. I'm just going to take a shot right fully aimed right here. Hit the rock. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I kind of want to put myself close to where this Mitsu is. Just don't want to get spotted on my way up here. So let's hope they're not there yet. Super Chaffee's coming out in the mid. Dude, my grocery delivery is heavily delayed, man. I'm waiting, still waiting. I can sit like right here, I think. I wish I had um, that perk where I can load quicker, whatever it's called, man. But I don't have it. I don't think I'll be spotted taking the shot on the tiger. I'm going to run this way just in case I am. No. Come on, man. Go ahead, poke it. Okay. Now we can push in. It's 92. I just want to kind of be able to back up my Mitsu, dude. The BDR poked and did get a shot off, but I... He paid the price for it because... We smacked him. All right, we can definitely get a shot into the tiger. Mitsu's gone around him. I would imagine that the tiger has turned his turret. Me and the Su-85 can easily wreck this guy in the back. Okay, now he's coming back around. That's okay. Yeah, he's all out of sorts. I'm going to come past him. Do one of these. Turn. Party was targeting me. Okay. He's still all out of sorts. Good, beautiful. I'm just the leaf now. There he is. He's trying to hit me. He missed. 1322 damage. It's a pretty good start, guys. This gun will rack up damage if you're able to actually, you know, make contact with the enemy with it. You know. Let's see if I can flip this thing. So that wasn't bad. We only hit two tanks, the Tiger and the BDR, but we did over 600 damage to each of them. And so, like, this is what I mean with this thing, man. Like, if you're really able to capitalize on pre-aiming and just trying to find areas where you can get make that one shot count, like, yeah, it's going to pay off, dude. So, not bad. We'll get to the next game. That was a pretty good game, even by like WTR and all, 5500. We didn't do any spotting, so. Sorry, we're still working on your, your delivery. I need my food, man. I got a meal prep. Okay, Paris is, is an interesting one for this tank. It's taking you guys so long, man. I think we play uh, the north... I think we play the north here.
So they have two AMX ELCs. What is ours? Chaffee. Where is he? Behind me. I think we can come up like right here and just pre-aim like right here. One of their AMX ELCs went to the mid. Beautiful. Dang, that M10's fast, man. He's pre-aiming here too as well. AMX to spot me. What you have to be careful of is that, like, this guy doesn't poke right here. Because then he'll spot me. Should have loaded gold. Did we not pen that guy? Uh, he went dark, so I, I'm trying to figure out if we actually got a shot into him or not. Got a lot of spotting from it, though. That's what I want to be careful of. See this? I think the leaf can actually hit me here, so I gotta be really careful about that. I'm pretty sure he can go over this. for this M10 to poke again. They're going to probably win this, and I kind of want to be back in the corner, but I want to wait for this M10. I'd like to get one more shot off here. M10 to move with me, so now we're now we're gonna be blind here. That's the problem. Because like everyone is sitting in this freaking corner, dude. Can I like sneak up like right here? I kinda wanna yeah. Let's see. There we go. Okay, he's gone. Okay, but we need someone to cover this, is what we kind of need now. So now, and they'll come from the north, as, or the south as well. The Wolverine's kind of sitting there, so that's good. And now we can do this. We can sit right here. There's T67. This thing has no freaking... It's the uh, gun depression. It has no gun depression. Okay. Answer. I want to go help this Panzer. I got to keep this guy alive. Oh, both ELCs. Goodness gracious.
This is why I hate this gun, man. Like, for situations like this. This is why I don't like it. Because you need to take these quick snapshots, and the leaf can help me. Let me run towards the leaf. Okay. That's why I don't like Because, like, in a situation like that, I would always rather have the 75, you know? Because I, I go to snapshot him, and I miss. I miss that shot. So that's where it becomes really challenging and awkward. And it's just, there's not... I, in my opinion, I feel like there's only so much you can do with situations like that. I think we played it okay. I think we put ourselves where we needed to be. We got four kills out of it. You know, I didn't see that we did too much wrong there. I mean... Someone who's a Unicom player would have played it better, but I don't th I don't think we would have been able to win that. Um, but yeah, for, for the first two battles, I'm pretty happy with the score. I'm not going to lie. 1,093 damage. It's not bad. And uh, 465 assists. So let's see how the third game goes, and then I'll probably let you guys go, man. So I got to... Uh... I still got to do laundry and like meal prep and stuff. Figure out when the heck this grocery delivery is coming. Like... I don't know what's going on. Okay, three lights. I think there was two tier five lights and one tier six. This is going to be a weird game. Because I... Like, I want to go over here, but I don't think it's what this gun is going to be good at. I think we'd be better off going somewhere over here. Like in the middle. I'm just going to go this way. But I'm not going to go to where I normally go. I'm going to go, like, up top. <laughs> like, right here or something like that, maybe. It's just if I get spotted, I'm kind of sh SOL, you know? right here I think is good I don't think they'd spot me from here guy's getting really aggressive with it. I want to try and take the south, but we have so many people just sitting. Like, look at this. I'm just going to draw it. I don't care what people say. Look at this area of the map. We have almost every single person on our team just sitting, like, right here. And I feel like we're not going to get the uh, support we need. So I'm just going to hold this.
This D67 has shots? I can't tell. Not really. Alright. I don't want to waste time here. I'm going to go north and try and help this leopard. So I can do that with this gun, I think. We just have way too many people. I'm surprised we're winning this right now. Because, we like, literally the none of the team has even, like, left the base, really. Like, the whole team is just sitting in this area, pretty much. We, we sent a couple people north. I'm going to load APCRs and get ready for people to come down this direction. Comes the P-43. Good spots by the Leo. Glad he stayed there. Should have went for the P-43 on us. Okay. Still not spotted. We'll take shots at the KV-1. See, like when the shots connect, man, this thing becomes lethal. Let's try and hit this jacks. Maybe do we get a shot of the jacks on? Yeah. Okay. We might be able to do fancy push work here, to be honest. This VK's got good armor, dude. I'm gonna start running this way. I guess that's my game, man. Thousand and three damage. I wanted to be back like where the Arties were a little while ago. We just lost the whole map though, man. Like I feel like I'm trying to make up for too many bad players. And what I tell you guys, man, I was surprised we were winning this game because everyone was consolidated to like literally a fifth of the map. Like everyone was just in here and you don't have any shots. You have like seven or eight people facing like two or three people in this area and that's just that just doesn't work that doesn't work man you know it just doesn't work you have to put guns in other places and that's why i, I noticed that after like a minute i'm like we got to put our guns somewhere and i did and uh this thing it, like i said it's good man it just doesn't have dpm you're you, you start running out of dpm and like you can only do so much i feel like with it but i'm i'm happy with this man like, again, I think someone who's really good at this tank could play it, obviously play these games better, but I'm not upset. I think these were like mediocre to good games. Um, not great. 1,063 damage over three battles, and we did get close to a 6k WTR. So this was close to, yeah, it's like a little over 1,500 combined. Um, and in this vehicle, that would pretty much get you the three mark. Um, so I don't think we played that bad, man. Like I said, th this, this tank with this gun, like... Me trying to make this thing work, I have to like kind of humble myself and realize that I'm I'm not that good with, with a, this type of playstyle. So to get this score, I'm 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 pretty happy with it. So there you guys go one last time. Um we only won one of the three, but it is what it is. I feel like the games were close enough where we can at least do some damage and stuff and um there you go guys. So again, if you're going to play this vehicle and honestly any tank destroyer that doesn't like just turn this crap off man 
enable automatic hole lock in sniper mode, turn it off, uncheck this, um, and I think you will be better off. Again, you can see me even in the last game, especially like still doing that thing where I turn the hole more than I need to. Like I'm, it's just a, it's an adjustment. Like I have to kind of get used to it. But again, I think overall we played this well and I'm happy with the session and I will see you guys very, very soon for the next one. By the way, I am going to upload, today is Wednesday, but I'm going to upload my um, 12T session probably tomorrow as well. I might just do two videos at once. Like it doesn't matter to me anymore. You know, I'm not like all technical and proper with my YouTube channel. Like I'm just going to throw content at you guys when I make it and um, you guys can watch it whenever. See you guys for the next one. Bye-bye.